Holy shamogle, it's cold today, folks. Oh my goodness me, it's winter. Winter's here, that's it. I had to put a load of de-icer. I had to basically screw the top off. None of this spray stuff. Took the lid off the bottle, just poured it all over the window. Man. Anyway, we're going to work. Well, this is the Jag Eye view so far in the car. We're trying out the new lens case today. See how we get on with this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jag Lives in the afternoon. Now, today I'm going to be talking about Commando Library, something that is really, really dear to my heart. And I'm sure some of the older viewers will remember these as well. First published in 1961 by DC Thompson, in the peak circulation, these were doing something like 750,000 a month. This was back in the time before internet. Now they all came in this, this package, so this fantastic little package size here, I think seven by five or something, and they all had to be 68 pages long. They had a few writers that uh, did all these, these uh, things, because the stories in here are fantastic, little snippets off the war, mostly about World War II, but they did diverge into science fiction and a couple other things as well but most of them were World War Two, and um, they, ne they never repeated a series or you know a character never ran into another series it was just all self-contained little stories now that this one here I've got here this is number 4417 which now costs £1.50 whereas back in the day here's one for example this is number 327 it cost a shilling that would be like 1971 or something is it Oh, 1968. Crikey. A shilling for that. Now, I've got, uh, well, I did have loads of these. I got given them in uh, a couple of suitcases. And uh, I kind of read them all and categorised them all and I sold them all. But I kept some of them, for, for example. Um, the, the earliest one I've got is number 185. I'm sure I had an earlier one than that. And it's called The Four Scars. Look at that. Brilliant. Super stuff. Oh, somebody's actually coloured that one in, look. So there we are, folks. Commando Library. Brilliant things. They remind me of caravan holidays back in the mid-70s. And I always get like a, a nice, warm, nostalgic feeling when I see these. The latest edition, by the way, I think it's up to number, let me just check, 497. No, 497. 4,970. And it's called The Diamond Smugglers. So there we are, folks. Commando libraries. Absolutely wonderful. I used to love reading these, man. Um, I don't think you'll get away with some of the things they used to, they would they would come away with, some of the terms they would use for each other, for the enemies. Um, back in the day, I just don't think they would do that nowadays. I've never actually checked, so you never know. Right, there we go. Commando libraries. Super things. I love them. They, they were great. They were a stalwart of my childhood. They really were, man. Ten I used to spend all my pocket money on them. And... Uh, Absolutely wonderful things. There we have a, when there was no internet the other day, I thought I was going to have to read some of them. <laughs> we have a flashing owl in the garden. Right, folks, tea time, 5.30, and I'm proud of myself. I went into McDonald's to get a coffee, and I had to work the machine where you touch screen, drinks, this, that, and the other. So I managed to do it all by myself. And then I'd had a £5 note ready to go, and as I did it, it said, please use the card reader. I was like, oh, what have I done now? So I had to get my wallet out and get my contactless payment. But at least I managed it. I did it, folks, so I'm proud of myself. Thank you. Right, folks, I need some chocolate or cake or something like that after that. Uh, so, it's as to in the darkness. It's only half past five, and look at it. It's really, really dark. It's like America. Here, listen to the sirens. What's going on? Crikey. Wow, loads of sirens, man. <clears throat> I've parked here, folks. This guy's parked right beside me. Um, so, I'm eating my slice of cake. And this guy's trying to load up on his um, 
this van there now, look. Honestly. Couldn't have done it anywhere else, could he? What's he all about? Look at him. I don't know what the WEEE -E -E regulations are, but I guess it's something to do with electronics. This is the uh, pile of stuff left here by our engineer. We're having a massive clean out, as you can see, of monitors, wires, fittings, loads of stuff like that. It's just going. So I'm going to check out see what the WEEE -E 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 is. Reckon it's something like the World Ethics Electronic Experts, or something like that. It's got to be. I reckon we've got to dispose of these things. Uh, in a, a suitable manner so we'll see where it ends up 